Valuable as EA on the PS And yes, we in the game, thank you, PS All our family started in the PJs The question is, what the generation after see next? The lesson is, roll the dice and level up Why repeat the cycle? Rather hear I'm better than you, then I'm just like you Once they say you better than who, then who don't like you? Guess that's just the selfish in you This ain't a rival Pray these words a blessing to you This ain't the Bible But all these verses written in red It's for survival When you hear all these visions I shared It's to remind you To do what you desire to That way they can't deny you Set the board We are back yes. We are here Yes sir. Episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Pick up sticks Drop your shit And drop the beat real quick we are back here live. This is the Nitty Gritty Podcast. Showtime. Kane, we yeah. back, y'all. We yeah, back. Yeah, sir. We back. Yeah, we back. Yeah, sir. We back. We back. At the we family back. reunion. <laughs> Who we introducing? <laughs> this my boy, Rob. Yes, he sir. is our first special guest. Huh? He said, let me get on the mic because I got to get this off my chest. Off my chest. Yeah. No. Titty pump. Uh, yeah. Titty pump. Yeah. Uh, titty yeah. pump. Yeah. yeah. That What's was up, for Rob. Rob. That What's was for Rob, bro. What's up, baby? How you doing, man? I'm good, baby. I'm thank you, thank you, bro. Taking this time. Fam. I'm good. Hey, we ain't gonna shake hands, but we gonna we gonna shake fingers, bro. What? The? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gonna somebody shake fingers, somebody, guys. Give some, somebody give this man some milk. I give you some. You know how to do. So hey, for yeah, those, yeah, 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 yeah. So for those y'all who don't know, for those of y'all, you know, if this your first time watching, I go by Mister L O K O, aka you might have seen me at Toys R Us looking at Transformers. That might have been me. I'm not gonna say it was, but I'm not gonna say it wasn't. But facts, I like Transformers. So what? You know <laughs> who we got next? It's your man Showtime. Hey, what up? What it do? Yeah, everybody know me as Showtime uh, Rex. <laughs> Ooh, that be snazzy, bro. Ooh, Ooh that's snazzy. <laughs> that shit snazzy, bro. Ha! Snazzy, bro. <laughs> and then we got Mr. DJ Cayenne. I mean Kane. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, DJ Kane? You know what I'm saying in the building, man. Doing what to do, gripping the wood grain. Yes, okay, sir. they don't do that in Wichita, but cool. <laughs> now, before we do this proper we introduction. horses and hunting squirrels. All right, day. before we do this proper introduction, you know what we got to do. Yeah, we got to load it up hey, for him. You know we got to load it up for him. Hit the rock. Uh, 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 don't, uh, 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 don't forget the leg. Yeah. Don't forget the leg. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Finish it yeah. out, finish it yeah. out. Yeah. Ha, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. And what's hey. his favorite word, y'all? One, two, three. Bitch. Bitch. What's up, Rob? <laughs> what's up, baby? What's up, man? How's it going? I'm good, man. I'm in a building with my brothers. I'm good. My good dots. All right, so for tonight's episode, we are going to be talking about it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You might want to sit on the edge of your seat, get that popcorn ready. Can yeah. I say it? Make Go, sure y'all ready. Can I say it? Go ahead, say it, say it. The nightlife. The nightlife. The nightlife. At the night shift. We getting into hey. it. How the hell you get shit from life? It's an old song, man. Like, uh, yeah, bro. but we we talking about nightlife. <laughs> it's, it's not night shifts, bro. Have you not had the leather case full of CDs? Hell no, nah. boy. You 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 tweaking. I was I was, oh, I was on line nah, wire, dog. Too, <laughs> I was on line wire, dog. <laughs> also, I gotta I gotta yeah. make this quick shout out. I fuck with that line wire. Dog. They they're not gonna come on camera, but my parents are here, y'all. That's what's up. They no longer just his parents, though. You know, I stole his dad a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> his dad got this little thing going I mean, on. You know what yeah. My dad over here doing the peace sign. They can't see you. The camera facing this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mama, how you doing? See what they don't know is that um, before they get home, I'm gonna raid their refrigerator because my mama be cooking, y'all. Mm. Like, all right, so I'm I'm a, I'm a snitch on myself, Dad. Can I snitch on myself real quick? Wait, but I'm gonna snitch on them for you. Where mom from? Huh? Where mom from? Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, mom can throw down. Yeah, she can throw down. So like my dad, he always be like, man, why 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 your ass always be eating this food, son? <laughs> oh, now man. before y'all say anything, his dad actually sound like that. Yeah. yeah, real talk, real talk. My my dad sounds like me. On steroids. Now, see, you want to know what's crazy about that? Normally, you know, when it comes down to generations and the son is born mm. from the father, yeah. the father <laughs> normally got that, you know, that masculine yeah, deep, deep voice, but yo. he had a voice box born in his throat <laughs> that allowed him to sound exactly like his father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like so. So look at it like John David Washington and Denzel Washington. Both, they both of them sound, go hard. They, yeah, they both go hard. They both sound alike. But both of them got that. Both mm. sound deeper uh, later is, is when he get late at night. So. No, you know, you know what's crazy. Oh so yeah, wrong, I'm, I'm a, when, that, when the hookah yeah, kicked in, <laughs> bro. That's, that's because he be rubbing his throat yeah, when that, he that, land down. Hey, he be in the hell like he be getting us hey, a berry. Right, you know, you know what's crazy. So this man, this man calls me the other morning, right? And he was like, first, you know, I answered the phone like, yo, what up? He's like, bro, how the hell does your tired voice and your awake voice sound exactly? By Boy. the way, so that's all I'm missing. Man. Last week we had a contest, right? Mm. I posed a question. Well, I told a story, you know, and I uh, said if you guys can guess, um, 
I, I will buy you lunch. And I'm not saying that this person won because he forced me to say this, but. Look how you look. Look how you look. No, on the cool. Hey, on the on the cool. My father, I'm not being biased, and if you, he is. I, shut up. <laughs> At least wait till they leave to say all that. <laughs> but my dad, my dad won the contest, so I'm gonna take my dad to lunch. Dad, how you want your kids' meal? Chicken nuggets or burgers? <laughs> <laughs> not mess with you, dad. I'm gonna get you some lunch. All right, we're gonna be on the story on it. So let's get to the nittiest of the gritties, y'all. Yeah, our special guest in the building, hey. Rob. What's, what's happening, Rob? man? I'm good, man. Listen, Rob, listen. throw the money at the DJ. Henderson, yeah, I love that shit. Been, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I need to know how you felt about it. Man. Was, oh man, keep it, know, keep it coming, you know, man. I, you know, can't be dropping that beat. I be having to throw something, off, man. bro. Yeah. Well, we we be, we all be out, and the the waitress they be you like your lips like that. They be cuz, bro. I'm on my LL Cool J <laughs> shit, bro. Leave me alone, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought I had some honey on my lips, but anyways, uh, <laughs> shout out, little Nas X, boy. Fuck you, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> We be out and the waitress will walk up to Rob and be like, You ready for your check? Rob be like, Yeah. They be like, Who you taking care of? Be like, Eh, just throw it in the bag. No, I'm like, Damn, it's like that <laughs> nipples on. <laughs> you know. So, so Rob, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Let, 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 man. The, let the crowd know who you are. Listen, man, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm um, president and CEO of my own IT consulting company Damn. called um, Internet Working Dynamics, you know. Fingers. Two, 200 employees, you know. Fingers. Doing it. There we go. We're global. Um, so, you know, I started that actually in 2001. Okay. Uh, my, my partner and I, we started doing real estate investing about 10 years ago. So, deep in the real estate investing game and the um, um, land development. Okay. And um, I'm uh, actually, I just left from doing an interview uh, with Channel 8. I'm a... Um, I've been getting really big in this um, crypto, crypt, crypto, crypto currency, currency, yeah. currency. Okay. So I'm just trying to show people what I'm doing with commodities, gold, silver, platinum. Mm. Oh, um, I, I need you to show me some, all some <laughs> artists, some artifacts. And then, like of course, that. man, I, I invest in restaurants. Um, Fogo de Chow was one of my first restaurants. And, um, you know, I got a couple of hookah spots in um, Arlington. So that's what's up. I'm busy, I, I, got, man. I got a restaurant in my apartment called Kitchen. Hey. Yeah, it, 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 it needs some investment. Hey, that's, that's is, start, is, uh, that's Norris start, Cafe man. one of the hookah lounges in Arlington that you invested uh, Chantillas. in? Chantillas. Oh, I know exactly yeah. where okay. that is. It, you know, it's funny, man. As much as long as we've been <laughs> kicking it, I I'm really I never really sat down and told y'all all the stuff I do, bro. Cause, bro, you Cause, been trying bro, to be all man. secretive. You know? and shit. It ain't even secretive. He over here handing out business cards. Like, hey, you. I feel like you're a very uh, you, you're just a guy. Just to, uh, you're not really flashy like that. I mean, uh, you, you dress know? nice. You ain't got the Gucci down, but I feel like you're a very humble guy. I try to keep it he, humble, man. Very you know, humble. I'm from he Chi-Town, is very. You're, 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 yeah. you're humble. You're humble, flashy. You know. Hum- yeah, 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 exactly. You humble, flashy. Yeah, true. You, hel- you flashy. We've actually there had a go. conversation because I'm in the IT field yep. too, and yep. con- IT consulting, and you're actually one of my mentors. Yep. And uh, we had to sit down, and the whole conversation was just amazing. And it's like. Uh, again, very humble guy. You charge for your time. You gave me a whole hour and gave me a bunch of game and and just tips to run with to you know get my stuff on the road. So, I mean, it's a blessing, man. So, um, with your IT stuff, you know, like again, we're we're kind of new to hearing about this because we always see you partying. Yeah, and everything. yeah, yeah. What made you want to get into that? Like, is that like your passion? Or? Man, no, you know, I got in trouble, man. Like I said, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> you know, I did the game thing. You know, <laughs> okay. I, oh, shit. I, I sold stuff I wasn't supposed to sell. You know, don't I don't say I that just, on this podcast. Nah, yeah, what you yeah, on Channel Eight to say that? Like, listen, man, no, man, it's nitty gritty, bro. No, Speak your mind, bro. Nitty gritty, man. Yeah, no, I'm for real. I didn't know. I didn't make the best choices in high school, man. So. Uh, I finally, you know, um, lost a couple of friends um, in in the streets, man, and I just changed my life. Um, but I moved, my, I moved to Oklahoma, man, my senior year of high school, mm-hmm. and um, moved in with my uncle. He was military, Fort Sill, Oklahoma, all of that good mm-hmm. stuff. What branch? Um, Army, uh, field artillery, bro. And so I, I got my life together, bro, and got a football scholarship at OU, and um, you know, that's uh, <laughs> exactly. Congratulations. So yeah, so so that's how that's how I got started, but um, that only worked out for one year, bro. Um, with the football thing, yeah, the football thing. Uh, you know what happened with the football? Man, let thing? me tell you, man. My, my 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 coach called the reverse. I got that ball, bro. I was I thought I was gone, man. And I just saw somebody from the corner go low. I tried to jump over him. Somebody came high. Oh now, man! I came well, down and I thought I was Batman. So, so what you doing? Your yeah, rob, like, what you doing? Your rob dance on the way to the end zone? What you like? I, I was ready, bro. <laughs> the rob dance. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, no, I, I, that, I had to. I, no, I ended up um um just majoring in um, IT, computer mm-hmm. science, bro. And um, got into IT, started working with Microsoft, um, doing system engineer stuff. And um, I knew these cats, it was, it was too easy because those guys came to me. I'm like, hey, we'll give you $10,000 a month 
if you come work with us. And I was like, man, that was like easy. So I was like, no, nah, I can't do it. Uh, <clears throat> what about 15? And they was like, done. I'm like, man, you saying yes too easy. So how much y'all making off of me? But I, I, I learned the game for about three years. And then I said, you know what? Uh, I learned oh, okay. after the fact they was billing me out for like $100 an hour. Well, they was paying me $100 an hour, mm-hmm. billing me out for like $1,000, bro. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I said, you know what? I got to do this for myself. And I don't even need that many customers. I get two customers, I'll make more money y'all paying me. Yeah, so I, right. I, I've just always been entrepreneur like that. So I stepped out. I mean, it's kind of crazy that you got into it at a time where like, People really didn't know where technology was really yeah, going to go. Yeah. You got you into know? a good time. You got into it at a good time. And I got into like, it in um um in um big currency and um uh, you know Bitcoin all at the same time. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. y'all see these fifty thousand dollars of per Bitcoin, bro. I was in when it was a hundred dollars. So yeah, yeah. You, you know oh, what's you funny? Right. Good guys. Yeah. Rob Rob is a soldier boy of investing. I yes. was the first one to invest in Bitcoin. Yeah, you <laughs> brought up first, a good bro. first black dude about doing stuff on your own. Yep. I used to work for a marketing company doing IT for them programming campaigns. And what really had me kind of drive to be my own thing, you know, you said you, you're getting billed out, getting yep. paid nothing. I had a, a project I did, and it was a multi million dollar campaign project, and I was working directly with my manager. And he told me something that just resonated with me. I did all this work, spent a whole month working on this campaign. And at the end of the month, we went to the meeting, we walked out, and he was like chuckling, saying, I'm about to be flown out to New York. And I'm gonna get all the credit for the work you did. No, that's that I'm is true, bro. And I mean, I was but that's like, what they do, though. That's what they do. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I made millions of dollars for this company, um, and then we was about to get bought out by a bigger company. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to be the president of this division. Yeah. They called me in the office, said, nah, man. First of all, because I was 24, they was like, you too young, and you don't have a bachelor's degree. Yeah. Because I went to school and got my IT certifications, and uh, I wasn't even really thinking about you know um, bachelor's degree and all that. I'm like, dude, I made six figures and I built this company. Yeah. So. Um, that's what made me go get my bachelor's, and then uh, I did three masters after that. Mm. Then I did a forty-two IT certification. So I started overcompensating. Like you would never be able to say no because I don't have these yeah. these credentials. So I got right. all the credentials, which so, is probably a yeah. <coughs> so let me ask overkill. you this: much respect, man. Yeah. Like in the, in the business aspect, because we live in a, in, in a different day nowadays, right? Mm. What would you say means more in life, a degree or a certification? It depends on what you majoring in, bro. I mean, um, it's not necessary for IT. Uh, it's not necessary for real estate. I would say unless you want to be a doctor or engineer, mm. uh, some somewhere like that where you have to have a credential, bro, it's not necessary. Uh, I mean, listen, I got a I got a twenty year old son, bro, and he has his own real estate development company, and um, doing six figures, bro. And I was and I will be I'll be honest, I was pissed that he he dropped out of college. I'm like, no, nah, bro, you going to college? So yeah, but she's like, he you're like you didn't until after the fact, and so he found his way, bro. So you know he does wholesaling, wholesaling real estate, um, laying all of that stuff. He got five employees. Yeah. So that's that's so I was like, you know what, at the end of the day, I'm still paying back those student loans. You know, you know what's crazy to me? Um I actually tried to be a wholesale real estate, yeah. you know, agent. But it didn't work out for me because the company that I started with was absolute garbage. Uh but I say that to say for him to be 20 years old and actually succeeded in wholesale, wholesale is extremely hard. It's tough. Very, very because hard. that mark, I've seen everything. Like, I've learned everything I needed to do with that. Yep. And what I've seen, I was just like, bro, I don't think I don't think that I want to continue doing this because it's just like, <laughs> it's, it's so much. And the truth is, the key is, he, I taught him how to network. So he built, he didn't He didn't go out there finding deals. He went out there and found the investors. Right. So he built his own um, kind of pod of investors. Mm-hmm. So then he, I told him, listen, don't go find houses. It's too hard to flip these houses. So he just sell hot lots, bro. So he find land. That's and let me tell it. you, man, the yeah. last two years, he's they probably made, man, he probably made 200000 just in Greenville, bro. It's like mm-hmm. growing. So just buying lots and flipping them. So he'll buy a lot. He just bought one for 9000 sold it for ninety. Yeah. It's crazy. Because a lot of I'm these people who inherit these lots, they grandfather died and they don't know nothing about it. They don't mm-hmm. really care about it. They just want to get from under them. They don't want to pay the taxes. Yeah. So they sold it to them. So, so that's what, what do you think is. about so flipping oh. land? I'll oh, go ahead, my bad. Oh, my bad, my bad, bro. Oh, so <laughs> we finna rock, paper, scissors over this? Oh, yeah. right, Me, y'all childish. <laughs> <laughs> rock, paper, okay, okay, wait. What the hell is this? All right, all right. So what do you think about buying land and... My bad, my bad. Go I, ahead. Go I ahead. was thinking about getting into buying land. I saw like like uh, areas in like Detroit, but I have nothing. I don't have any relation to Detroit. I just want to get some ownership. And they have like land for like nine thousand, like lots yeah. and stuff. What do you think about just buying stuff, just <clears throat> random places, and just building it? Like, what's no? That's that's what we have to do, man. We as black folks got to own more land, bro. And here, yeah. the, I got an office in Detroit, Baltimore, mm-hmm. St. Louis. Every last one of them, man. They got programs like you can buy a whole house for a dollar. 
because they just trying to re, um, revitalize the community. Yeah. And so we don't we 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 want to buy when everybody else is there. You got to buy before everybody come. That's mm-hmm. why Jay Z says, um, you know, I could have bought this land now, um, in Dumbo. Now I'm feeling like Dumbo. For now real. I'm feeling like you Dumbo. Got, yeah. you, if if you buy it when it's hot and sexy, you you too late. It's the same with Bitcoin. You finna pay fifty thousand dollars for one coin. So like we got to learn how to see see the vision and jump in with everybody else. So I mm-hmm. would tell you to buy it. I mean, listen, if you bought uh, in Detroit, I bought seven houses. For hundred thousand dollars for all seven total, mm. hundred thousand dollars. My property taxes on there is three thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and guess what? <clears throat> Once I paid it, I got a three thousand dollar refund because it's in what they call a promise zone area, mm-hmm. where so, they're trying to revitalize. So they paying me to buy these houses. As soon as somebody come in and flip them, fix them up, you you know I'm gonna sit on it. Yeah. So that's what we got to do. So Rob, well I love you know, investment, man. You're a man of many talents, right? You know we all have multiple talents. We all have things that we like. So. In your career path, how difficult was it to determine what is it you love doing and what is it you're just good at doing? Yeah, you know, man, I um, I do a lot of executive coaching. And let me tell you, I'm so different from most coaches because I think the dumbest thing you tell somebody is follow their passion. I'm sorry. I never got that. Really? Like, hey, follow your passion. Mm-hmm. I'm not that type mm-hmm. of coach. My <clears throat> thing is what lifestyle do you want to live and how much it's going to cost you? And let me show you what career you might want to get in that's going to pay for that. And then when you make that money, it's going to pay for your passion. Mm. So my thing, dude, I, it's like my son. Like, he loves rapping and all that. Dude, flip this real estate. Uh, it may not be something you're passionate about, but I'm showing you how to get it. Now you got all this money, go buy your studio. Get some time, do your mm-hmm. own thing, you can fund it. So for me, my passion, of course, I thought I was going to be playing in the NFL and all of that. You know, I was only thinking athlete because that's all they told me I could do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then, I, you know, I, I started seeing all these guys making money, and I started realizing everybody who I knew made money, they don't buy these companies because they got a passion. They buy the companies because they see an opportunity. Or they want to meet a need. So my thing, my advice is, don't lose your passion. Write them all down. You want to go skydive and you want to deep feet, see, do all of that. Yeah. But listen, if the money's in medical, the money's in real estate, the money's in IT, the money's in investing, do that. Learn how to do it. Make your money. Build your family, bro. And then pay for your passions and that of your family. So mm-hmm. it's funny because I asked that question because, um, you know, since I was, I want to say like three or four is when I started like keeping track of my artwork. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this, but I like to draw. You know, I've tried like every form of art you can think of, and really, which actually, this is where photography. Yeah, yeah. What you, what? what you got skills on that <laughs> photography, bro? Oh, appreciate that, man. That, that's, yeah, yeah no, he cold. Sure. Oh yeah, he <laughs> cold. He cold with the finger yeah. control and everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, you know, and honestly, really, what made me kind of wonder about my career path at first was, um, I was at a school out here. I'm not going to say the school. Um, Trash. Shut up. <laughs> And I had an art teacher who hated my work because it wasn't the old school modern type. Because yeah, yeah. like uh-huh. me, you, you wouldn't color the story, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I'm more of a comic book, anime, graffiti, and like the only kind of art that he liked that I did was my nature photos. Yeah. I mean, not photos, but my nature drawings. Yeah. But he was sensitive. I, yeah, very much. Um, but I was good with technology. You know, I didn't really have a passion for technology. I was just good at it Mm -hmm. you know and so i kind of kind of got to a point just like really wondering like hmm like yeah i love drawing but i'm good with like phones and everything you know my my parents some of my family members they you know they'll call me ask me about you know hey hey, how do you you know what's what 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 what, what this button do yeah you know what i mean my grandmama who watching this show how granny recently learned how to text (laughs) (laughs) man granny know what goes on on this show bro (laughs) stop stop, stop trying to protect it bro it's all good no we finna make that into a t-shirt. All right? We getting my grandma watching show tatted on our chest. And then I'm gonna get it tatted on my chest. Stop trying to protect it. But but why? <laughs> <laughs> well, Frank, <laughs> hey, what Franklin say? Anywho. You, you know what's funny? <laughs> Did you brought up that you could fix phones and stuff like that back in the day? Did you ever try to like charge your friends? Just be like, hey, give me like a Snickers bar, I'll fix your iPhone. Or give me like five bucks. Bro, back back. I don't know, like time, time out, time out. <laughs> a Listen, Snickers bar. If I, I was charging for a Snickers bar to fix any technology <laughs> back in the day, hey, it would have been back in the day when we had the Tamagotchi pets. Back in the day when we all met up on the green uh cable boxes. Y'all, y'all oh know, yeah, oh, I remember those. Boy, boy. I remember those. Oh boy, it was a lot of action boy, going on. Boy, a lot of action. Oh, Everything happened. I forgot Pops was in. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> and mom, um, she looking at me like. <laughs> so, so yeah, action. I mean, We're keeping the nitty gritty, y'all. So. so, so when it came down to that, yeah, I used to actually fix my friend's bikes. Okay. So, like, you know, the chain broke. So you you know, like Candyman for real, for real. I mean, I you, mean, look at his shoulders. He got he got them chain fixed. So, I, 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 to answer that question, to be honest. 
I hope. Oh, Dan already answered. Yeah, that. Dan already answered. <laughs> so, cause we used to, we uh, you know back in the day, a dollar for us was a quarter. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean. So like, yo, where, where, where that quarter at? Yeah. Or you go to the Candyman house. You know what I mean? Either get them pop. You know, y'all ever, ever had them like frozen Kool Aid cups that you turn yeah, upside? Yeah, yeah. Come on, 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 who grew up that, that grew up with the ice cream truck. K was the only one that went with the group of black friends hey. and got the Ninja Turtle with a gumball eyes. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. everybody else got. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. And shit. Time out. There's only one thing you gotta ask though. When you got that Ninja Turtle popsicle, did it actually look like the Ninja Turtle? Or did it look like he got beat the hell up? <laughs> no, it didn't. It, it looked like it had laser faces. The you know how many times I got? Shit. Bro, you know how it many it times I got the like Sonic the, the Hedgehog? Uh, popsicle Yeah And his ass was looking messed up Like eyeball where the mouth is Mouth where the hair is Yeah ear, bro Slapped rap. that shit together <laughs> no, no, Wrapped but, it but up Real talk bro The Mickey Mouse All of that Yeah the, They used to come through The truck I yeah. couldn't afford none of that yeah. We could only get the, the cone With the you know with Oh the, the little oh, The little, yeah. the little the yeah. Yeah. That was the best one With the little gum At the yeah, bottom no, that's, all hey. that's all I can afford man So like listen man Shout, hey, out, shout out the kids Hold on Rob Let me Let me I gotta say this bro I gotta say something too You just You just Literally told your age on the podcast. Oh no! I'm, listen, I'm, hey, I don't, I don't have that age, bro. Hey, hey, it's all good, Mr. Chocolate. So, it's so, cool. Hey, it's listen, all good because you, you got you, a young spirit, you, man. You actually, you know why? You, you know do. why I mess with y'all, though, bro? It's because I saw young brothers. I'm like, man, they got all the talent. These dudes intelligent. And for me, man, it was like, listen, I need to be mentoring these brothers. Like, that's mm-hmm. what I'm doing it for. How did we meet you officially? I'm gonna tell you how you met me. You know, we damn, had, I like damn, the way you damn, damn, Mr. Yeah, Authority. Yeah, Hold on, you know? I'm gonna tell you how you met me. Hey, hey, yo, you, you, see, you see the veins through the don't, suit? Don't hey. sit up straight. Hey, know. yeah. No, 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 Hold on, let me see. Kane, Kane was DJing. Right, yeah, facts. And he put he put that um, two chains, two chains, yeah. Two chain on yeah. And then y'all saw me doing it, and nobody was turning up. So I saw y'all turning up. I was turning up, and I saw y'all a couple of weeks like in a row. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, these look, okay, these dudes, they turn up like me. And then we just we just hit that flow together. Bro. But you know what's crazy? What's that? People don't believe it when we say this. They look at us like we crazy. Kane can attest for this because he's seen it every weekend. When we walk into the lounge, everybody's sitting their ass down in those extra comfortable couches. Yep. Lies. Until, Until we, we get up. In. Yep. No, I can get it. Yep. And get on the dance floor. Yeah. Then everybody was like, oh, shit, okay. I didn't know we can dance in here. They yeah. got so okay, clowns with a DJ. Like, what you expect? Yeah, no, we, we, Y'all we, turn we, up for real. We should be getting some royalties, bro, for sure, bro. Oh, yeah. We, we really should. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Pull it up in the band. Hey. Pull it up with a dance. Mm. Now, you already know when that song come on. Hey, you already we already know, know we up. Or that, don't watch, you open up that out. window. All me. All antidote. Me. Antidote, yeah. And then, you know, I think those are the main things. You get paid. No, you forgot where the party at. Yeah, look at yeah. you. Oh yeah, you like now the uh, look yeah, at where us. the party. Yeah, yeah you, hey. you haven't played that for me in a while. Like where the party at? Hey, where the party at? Yeah, Girl, hey, you know, hey, way, hey, you know, you know. Um, Not, no one else, but all right, all right. fuck y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my my man's on that um pop that um pop um star now, huh? Who that Drake? Oh, oh you yeah, up to that pop bro. Star yeah. now, man. People <laughs> sleep on pop star in the dancing environment, bro. Yeah. No, I see you. I be the only nigga, and yeah. I don't care. I will continue to do that because that pop star that bitch is calling my phone like I'm locked up nonstop. I'm like, man, hold on. Hell of- I'm like, Drake, you do something to me. No, homo. Yeah. You know what's you know what's crazy though? When we all go out, <laughs> it's it's funny how we all have like mo- like very different personalities. Yeah. Yeah. But we also click. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you got well, extra hype. We like the I mean, Avengers. Wait, because people say we act the same, bro. No, they don't. Yes, the hell they, they do. They just say we both assholes. Can't. Yeah, I agree with that. Though. Y'all, when I first met y'all, I really thought y'all were related. Mm. We are. We are. Me too, though. Yeah. We all by when fingertips. I, first met no, y'all. I, I really thought y'all was like like biological brothers, brothers, brothers bro. <laughs> hey, or either yeah, y'all went to the I same school or something. Right yeah. here. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hey, talk, no, talk, I thought man. y'all was brothers for real, bro. Oh, shit. Wrong way. John? Yeah. Uh, All right, so anyway. Okay, don't go we ten are and trunks never right here. doing that shit again you know? on, on the on live. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, you got I a hair on your show. It's been there this whole time. I thought about saying something, but since you want to say that BS. <laughs> oh, I just got a haircut. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, because it's funny, because, like, when we go out, yeah. understand what's going to happen. 
his ass is going to be somewhere in the corner smiling yeah. at anything that's going on. With his motherfucking laptop out. Boy, but look, <laughs> as soon as you ask Kane, hey, Kane, what's the name of the song? Let me get the laptop out. Let me get the... <laughs> I All keep right. it on me. So then you got Rob, who probably got the biggest hookah in the whole damn building. Hey. You know what I mean? That don't blow smoke for shit. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. Hey. One thing about Rob, one thing about Rob, I don't care if it's cold as hell or hot as hell, he is wearing this suit. That Not blazer. Exact one. He, look, he'll be like, he'll be like, bitch, it's hot. <laughs> I'm like, but you got a whole damn blazer on. He take off the blazer, it's a damn turtleneck. <laughs> hey. then, sure. you got, then you got Antoine here. Who's gonna be the first one to start dancing? Yeah, like every look, time. Okay, okay. So we we can say that. Oh like, no, man. What? I, but between all between all four, first, man. Oh, well, that's because okay. you there before us sometimes. Yeah, you know true, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Don't be trying to man. downplay me and shit. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, man. You and can't then, get all the credit for turning off parties. <laughs> though, man. And then don't don't worry because I'm about to get on my own ass right now. I'm the one that when I walk in, there's like three people that look at me like, "Yo, who was this nigga about to fight?" <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, bro. Because you walk like you accidentally killed the nigga, like. It, you it, gotta understand, bro. Okay, like, tell like me about Frankenstein. My walk. Tell me about my walk. Go ahead. I'm listening, my, bro. My <laughs> you got this walk, oh, man. And I realized this one of the first time we met, bro. Yeah. You walked in the aura. I think you was with Mona. No, I was by myself. Oh, yeah, maybe. No, you was with Mona and Solomon and uh, you know his. By the way, shout out to birthday twin Mona. A one since day one. What's up, little homie? All right, go ahead. Anywho, yeah, Solomon. Was already there You know They was all in the back corner So I'm sitting on the couch You know I'm, I think I was playing the game Or some shit mm. You walk in All I hear is Hey Solomon What's up bro I'm like what the fuck What's hey, this What this Hey can, can, can you look over there Look over there real quick Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> what? I'm, like, what? I'm like what is this See, Shaft it's, sounded it's not, it's not the walk bro What I what I noticed bro. about Loco Is he um, When he come in He don't acknowledge He just walked straight like he's going to see Kane only, and so anybody else be like, hey, that's, yeah. he he walked like he just kind of bogart board, everybody, and they're like, damn, this dude is walking in, yeah, and then he'll finally turn to, oh, what's up? We're like, okay. well, first first oh, thing first, when I walk, right, so, so when I walk in, I, I just want to get you know, let me get my hookah. I right? just murdered a live chicken or some that's shit. That's what he do. He will just call people up. Like, hey. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> it's, a, it's an entitlement. Like, it's an entitlement, bro. It's the not, shoulders, it's, bro. I'm telling you, it's, it's his not, shoulders, bro. It's not, the motherfucker. What he do? He, he, like, like, he likes to rock. He be trying to walk tall. Like, oh, yeah, like, like, tall, walking man. tall. Like, well, you, you got you got <laughs> posture of like. Hey man, lead them out of this. They just here I for mean, the festivities. You, when you walk in, you have that posture. It's like you know you yeah, could be the the, is, the bodyguard, the security. Like you you tough. The the funniest shit that happened one of the nights when we were out. This dude, Hispanic dude, he was like. Bigger than me, like size. Well, you, I think you remember exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I remember. This uh, man walked in, he's like, "Damn, you big as hell!" And I'm like, "I like what? The, what the hell am I supposed to do with this information right he's, here?" He's bigger than you saying this. Like, thing. like solid size wise. Like, yeah, if, if I'm like a single patty cheeseburger, he a triple. All right, all right. <laughs> that's my that's my way of saying he was fat. But <laughs> all right. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna give him the satisfaction. It's, it's just crazy because you literally compared your body to burgers, money. <laughs> like, <laughs> because, bro, when it come to eating, I'm the fat one here, bro. I like food, all right? And, and they like go straight to your shoulders. Because I think you got some wings every time I see you, man. You get the wings, man. Okay, you know, they got good ass wings. They do got good wings. <laughs> oh, I right, cast another. No, they got good wings. Yeah, they got, they got they some right. When they cook right, yeah. yeah they when they cook right, though, you gotta get them hoes extra crisp you because begin, you begin the crusaderless. The crusader. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> oh, the crusaderless. <laughs> the crusaderless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since so we talking about nightlife and everything, you know, we don't we yeah. don't interrogate Rob enough. We are gonna talk about nightlife etiquette. Okay, the hair is... gotta come down for this one. Oh snap! Yeah, we, ah, we about to get to the nitty gritty on this one. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Say somebody. So, so no hang was, time what, having that. You, you ain't point? got no hang time. All right, it's a do, fucking do, mohawk. I ain't supposed to have hang time. What's that one hanging down? Hey, I'm on my go. <laughs> <shit. Hey. laughs> so, All right, so nightlife. We got nightlife. Do's and don'ts of nightlife, Man. Rob. What Let's do you start think? with the don'ts. Go ahead, exactly. Rob. Exactly. What are we not supposed to do? Man, it's Rob. We gotta start with the do's, bro. Well, let me just no I, don'ts. Let me, let me give you one don't, man, because. <laughs> Don't be toasting me, man. Every three minutes. Oh, man. I know who you talking about. Listen, man. Ooh, boy, that shit. <laughs> Facts, bro. Yeah, man. Every hey. three minutes. It's like, hey, let's cheers. I'm like, hey, man, toast I'm once or twice, bro. But look, I, I gotta say this before. I gotta say this. Go, oh shit. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we was out on a Saturday. We was. And this is before. I think this is before you got there. You know who was already. You know. Yeah, yeah. Cocked back a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. When he walked over to us, Rob said, Hey, look, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he said, 
Motherfucker, you got a three toes minimum, nigga. <laughs> No, I, I said, look, look, did you put a limit on? I got to, man. Bro, like I had to. I, I see where really, you're coming bro. from though, because this bro, same, this same every person. Every time, bro. Because yeah, yeah. like y'all know, y'all know when I be out, I be in my own zone, right? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. This motherfucker gonna come to me. Hey, man, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm chilling. Toast up. <laughs> Cheers, hey, man. bro. You yeah, know, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pour some childish shit from now on. Every time he try to toast me, I'm gonna look at him and be like. Nigga, I'm not on your team. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he so, cool, man. So, he cool. so, nah, he cool. so what, what else is your don'ts? What else is your don'ts? I know you got another one. I mean, don't, don't, don't bring your um girl to the club, bro. If you, uh, if you insecure, yeah. like, like, don't do it, man. I, I'm just luckily saying. none of us here are. Huh? All right, let me let me pick it back on that. All right, rule number one. If you're dating a bad chick, let a bad chick have a bad chick tendencies. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Let her let her show her confidence. Let her, you know, yeah. flaunt yeah, her it, shit. Be ready look, to look. fight, bro. She if she out here looking good for you, then yeah, someone else gonna look. So what? Yeah, I yeah. know, man. Y'all yeah, so like, what? what's the point? Hold on, let me read. Ain't no reason story. to get your ass whooped Wait, just because on. somebody looking at your girl. You know? I, I mean, I don't I you read, want I you? I candy all the time. I want people to look at my I girl. Mean, if they're not looking at my girl. There's something wrong with that. Hold on, you can go ahead and look, but you can't touch. Okay, my dad gave me permission to tell the story, and I said the story before on this podcast, and I'm gonna say it again because when I heard this story, I said I'm gonna live by it. You know. Someone tried to hit on my mom. Said, "Hey, where you want to go?" Uh-oh. My dad said, "All right, you, y'all see my dad. All right, like imagine me times two, add two times a hundred to the third power, nigga. You don't even know that number. You damn right, but I know the size." <laughs> <laughs> so he walk over. Well, where are you taking us? He's like, "I was talking to the lady," and he's like, "You talking to my wife? You talking to my wife? You talking to me? So where are you taking us? We I like to eat too. She like to eat. Where we finna go? That's the type of shit I would do." So yeah. yeah, no, that's exactly how you handle it, bro. Exactly. Yep. But yeah, that, I mean, listen, if you insecure, I'm just saying, bro, don't don't come around here. Oh, I got a bad chick, and then when you bring in a club, and she see some bad and niggas, see the problem, she just, and, and then she, she just runs even harder, and then you he know said, the niggas gonna the look like after the night. Cause we do it all the time. Yeah. As soon as the bad don't one walk leave your in, girl like, around me. Hey. True player for real. Yeah. Ask my yeah, nigga for real. Sure. <laughs> and don't knees on that. Don't bring him by the DJ either. Don't bring him by the DJ. Oh yeah, don't bring don't bring him by the DJ because he will not play her song. Look, listen, listen. That's facts. If a dude come I, up to Kane and say, yo, I want you to play this R&B for my beautiful woman right there. He's mm-hmm. like, I bet. Nah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've had some of the finest girls that come up to me like, hey, can you play my song? Like rubbing on my, I'm like, nah, I'm good, fam. Lie again. Listen. You be hey, like, man, bet, bet, let me change that bit real quick. Nah, <laughs> I don't Mine? play this stuff, bro. I'll be like, nah, I'm good. Now, you, you know what I hate, though? Like when I'm, when I'm be up there taking pictures, like if, if, if Rex is performing or you... You know, DJing, or I'm just getting slapped with his money that he throwing at you. Um, <laughs> I be hating when I be getting that one chick that just like throw me by the shoulder, like take a picture of me. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so so with that being said, we know some of the don'ts. Yeah, yeah. Now hit no, wait, us wait, with wait. some of the do's. Wait, hold on, hold on. We got we got a few more don'ts. We got a few more. Don'ts. Oh snap! I feel what, like, what we missing? Damn, right. Bryson Tiller. You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, yeah. 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 look, look. New segment, local rant. Give me 45 seconds on the clock. All right, bet. So, don't. Let me stop playing. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, if I got to say another don't on the cool, don't go out if you can't hold your lick. Oh, man, that was Bruh. I was just going to say that, bro. Oh, yeah, facts. I was just going to say Speaking that. of I mean, the same friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. first off, first That's off. That's probably rule one, man. And then and then on top of that, on top of that. That's definitely rule one. That's, That's sticking. rule one, man. And if, if, we, if, we, if we talking about that same person. Just because you finna fight and I'm sitting with you, don't mean I'm finna don't fight. Don't mean your I'm battles. finna fight your fucking <laughs> boy, boy. Don't 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 be over here talking. Don't be talking shit to somebody yeah. else and be like, "Hey, I got my man's local right here." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm right here, but I ain't in it." I don't even hang around people like that. Like yeah. I know who y'all talking about, but it's like I try to steer away from people like that. Hey, I got to go ahead and pound that real quick, quick Dad. Go ahead, there you go. I want to hear that. Don't <laughs> listen. If it's not your section, bro. Ooh. Don't invite, don't invite other nobody mo- else. I need bro, an air horn to my give me, give me a sound. I need a sound for give that. Give me a sound, 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 sound out, sound out. for that. Like sound. Man, <laughs> bro. And then, and then when you invite them, you can't bring bigums to the table. Biggie's, bro. I'm talking like, about big salmon I mean, catching with the mouth. Salmon. 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 Not I said sal- salmon. You said salmon. I'm in the moment. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't, don't, bring, don't bring the big ones and they like, you gonna eat your cornbread? Like, listen. <laughs> no, no, no. And this will get me. This will get me. Hold on, T. This will get me. This will get me. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. You went our fucking section. Yeah. We cool and all cool. All right. Yeah. Y'all know where he going. Yep. Yeah. If we finna leave, don't be like, hey, bro, you gotta stay. You gotta stay. Yeah. Why I gotta stay? 
Oh, I, I got some bad it. bitches coming in. <laughs> oh, and, you, and the bitch walk in and her <laughs> ankles like, hanging yeah, over the yeah, top yeah, of her. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, how you got hot tops? Listen. And I can see your ankles, nigga. Like, I get it there, what is up so, with that? So, so hold on, hold on, bro. hold on. If I got to say another don't. Don't say, no, we be nice, right? Yeah. Sometimes. Well, y'all are. Compared to me, no. Sometimes, no, no, man. You, yo, y'all two bad assholes. I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> bro, why you gotta put me in a category with this <laughs> nigga, no, bro? I, I, just, I just seen y'all move, man. All right, so who's man, worse? You see you why we assholes, though. Worse, bro. You Thanks. see why we assholes, sometimes though. You worse, like, bro, don't do like, that. Old girl, old girl. Even oh, last week, she's like, you remember old girl came to my girl. She's like, I'm gonna get your girl hard. You was like, with oh, what? <laughs> Oh. Why you kick the camera? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, man. Oh, you talking about We apologize oh, to the, the white girl. The fans that Rex just kicked. <laughs> hey, listen. You listen. talking about that white yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that girl was so. Oh, she was mad. She was gone. Bro. All right. Bro. Look, sorry, look, bro. listen. So. Hey, we, we need to take a five minute. All right, listen. <laughs> the, last, the last dome before we get to the dudes, all right? I forgot how big my feet was. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like Rob trying to look through the table like that. Look, 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 look. Listen, know, listen. I've seen your tra- church shoes, man. Bro. So, <laughs> you know what I think is I, a don't? I, I, or do y'all want to say one? Yeah, right, we, no, we, no, no. What's don't, up? don't ever go out with people that ain't, like, ready to go out. Like, go out with fun people. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because oh. it's like, I go out with people that's always, because when I was in college, I used to go all the time, and there's, like, my fun group, then there's, like, my eh group. And the end group would be like, oh, they're going out. They have boyfriend, girlfriend problems. That's all they're talking about all night. So when we oh, party. Oh, that's where you're going. I thought you were talking about somebody being quiet in your session. I'm about, what you trying to oh, say about too. me? Oh, that too. Like, hey, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what you trying to say about me now? Nah, it's okay being quiet. You be in your mood sometimes, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mood swings. Listen, man. Even Pops agree, nigga. Don't Pops, take your oh, headphones off. You know what's true. Hey, hey, one, you know, one weekend, you know, he had to oh, move, man. So, you know, he's already... I mean, it's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he coming oh, in. I had to move. Snap. Coming over with that damn Freddie hey, versus Jason yeah. ass walk. It's like, hey man, you, bro, need, bro, to, you need to unwind, bro. I do be on. I be chilling though. Oh, man. Yeah. I be chilling. I be in there. You know what I'm saying? Antidote come on. I stand up there with you, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then that one time you, the song you warm came. Up, you warm up. Yeah, but see, he in. said, yeah. You said the key word he warm up. up. Yeah, you warm oh, up. You snap. warm up up into it. And then you even told on yourself. I come up there and stand with you. Yeah. Because we and standing nigga, in the floor. Marching for a million, man. What you talking about? Standing? That's what you do when uh, uh, bitch call him mom. You start marching like you marching for freedom. No, no, bro. You see the way Justin Bieber did that on that video? That shit was smooth, cuz. Why'd you cross your eyes for that? <laughs> shout out Justin Bieber. Shout out Lil Nas. JB going so, hard. Look, look, listen. <laughs> you got one more time to shout out Lil Nas. Hey, hey, man. Y'all ran into color it. shirt. It's the salmon color shirt, bro. I'm telling listen, you. Listen, listen. My, my last dunk. My last dunk. So we all, we all nice. Well, y'all. Yeah. Sometimes. There you go. <laughs> If if we're nice enough to let you sit in our section, yeah. don't expect us to pay for your shit. I, I, that, that's the obvious. Oh, but look at Ralph. I kind of <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on, hold on. That was kind of iffy on that one. If if I'm gonna really go there, like as soon as you sit down, don't be them type of motherfuckers. Be like, what kind of bottle you drinking? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Same friend. Yeah, yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. I mean, cause you like I mean? I'm not I'm not gonna lie. My nigga, you drinking wine? Bitch, that nigga, you. Yeah, exactly. You said I'm what not are you saying? talking about, bro? Yeah. Like bro, you can go drink. Patty LaBelle milk or whatever you want to with them fat girls over there. Like, actually, actually, long, actually, hold on. I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story before we move to the dudes. All right, I'm telling yeah. y'all, Antoine, you know about this story. You know where I'm going. Let's 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 go to Vegas. Bro, we, real quick. we got so many stories, dude. Like, I, I don't know which. Okay, let, let's let's go to Vegas at Abbey real quick. All right. Oh, so my God. So we up there, right? The Rob, like, he, oh, I brought raised. Listen, he listen. already know. So one thing about me, and I know my dad gonna call BS on this when I tell him this, but Ant- Antoine gonna be my my. My, you know, my proof. It's fact. A lot of times when he be bringing women to the section, they get mad at me for not saying shit. Like saying what? Like shit like hi? No, I, I don't say shit to them. Oh, it's just quiet. Okay. Am I wrong? No. You're not wrong. You hear that, Dad? You hear that, Dad? <laughs> so yeah. there was one time, right? And this is a huge don't. One, they, they said it was going to be three people sitting in our section. And it ended up being like six and a half. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> And what made me mad is like I'm chilling, I'm in my own zone, blah blah blah, and no, I'm looking wow, on my phone. Bro. You you, you feel to talk about that? Right? The, the, the big, this is nitty gritty. This is nitty gritty. We, we Bigums, right? This, this is nitty gritty. I'm gonna say it. The Bigums, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so Shotty got mad and tried to diss me because I'm looking at like anime shit on my phone. Okay. She's Ooh, like, oh, you, you want to know weird people that like anime? I'm like, oh, you one of the weird people that wear horses on your head, huh? Hey, shout out <laughs> to anime. Like. Let me tell you, y'all bro. be y'all be like. 
filled up. Like, y'all got ammunition for them clapbacks. I tell y'all. Like, bro, nigga, what? You better, bro, nah, it's shit. like, the, uh, y'all ready. <laughs> Every time they go out, if, if, it's, if it's somebody that needed, they got, they going to clap them up. But exactly. That's Pause. the sad part, though. Like, that's she's sitting here <laughs> clapping at my brother for fucking looking at anime shit on his phone. When she wanted them fat people that I was mentioning that got their, hang- their ankles hanging over hot tops. You didn't have to do that. Like, bro, come on, bro. Like. Hey. Let's go to the dude. Okay, we're not yeah, we're gonna go move to the on. Dude. We ain't that nitty, all right? We so, ain't that so nitty. Rob, what are some things that we Damn, should bro. do when we go out? Like, what are some things we should do? Like, have when we go out and party and have a good time. Like, I mean, it's the opposite of what we said. Rule number one is, man. I just think, I think to your point though, you gotta you gotta know where you're going. Yeah. Like, I gotta feel like if I don't feel like coming out to the lounge, I'm not coming. So if I come, I'm coming to turn up. And so I feel like being there. Yeah. A do is um, be ready for the moment, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. And I and I mean in other ways like listen, you guys know, you know opportunity come in. I I, I have my business cards with me, bro. Mm. So he looked right at me when he said that shit. Yeah. I'm like, I got always bad. keep your business Look, cards on no, because because again, don't bring your people in the club, bro. If you don't want nobody bro, to say hello, I'm gonna tell a story, Rob. Can I sit to you yep. for a second? No, go ahead. So mm. one time it was just me and Rob in there, right? And you no, know, in the corner there was like a couple beautiful women over there. So he goes to the server like, hey, you come out, <laughs> right? That's how that's how Rob be calling people over. Like one, right? like a Sith Lord. <clears throat> right. So he said, her over there, give her my business card. Mm. Three minutes later, <laughs> her, her friends came over. And when I look back in the corner, I just see two pissed off light skinned dudes. I was like, what the? Yeah. What, what? Oh, it's always the light skins. Look, look, like, oh, it's always look, the light skins. Let, let, let me get my damn uh, local vision business card. <laughs> doing shit. Okay, so while we're talking about that, Rob, when you go out in the nightlife and stuff like that, what are your preferences of women to be around? Because, you know, we all like the, you know, the chicks, but we all have our different well, preferences. Hey, I'm going to stay, I'm gonna stay out of this. You're going to get his man in trouble. I'm going to stay out of this. Okay. You good. You good. Like, yeah. First off, I'm going to stay I mean, out of this one. I mean, I ain't listen, got no type bad. Y'all, is, y'all you know. around me more than anybody on weekends, so y'all already know how it rolls. So yeah, listen, you know I, how we do. I mean, uh, you know I mean, listen, do. I don't. I bring, um, I I bring clients, you know, and uh, I'm just saying. Here's my rule. Here's a here's the thing. I got to get one more don't in. Okay, don't come out with me, man, and just sit there to be pretty, bro. Like if you're not gonna turn up and uh, have a good time, you can't come with me. Yeah. So my thing though is. Every every lady that I'm around, and y'all seen the people I'm around. Like if you in my section, mm. the first and first and mo- most important thing is that you respect yourself. Mm. I respect you. Like you can turn up with people, but that's again why I'm, I don't have those. I don't have those issues. If, my, if y'all dancing with my girl or whatever, n- uh, none of that stuff, mm-hmm. because I already know what it is. She she. If I got an issue with her, not you. Yeah. If, uh, if if she crossed that boundary, so I just think that you got to be around respectable. Um, Respectable ladies. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I mean, it's cool. You know, some people want to be around a little, the easy girls and all that. Not me, man. I just want. I, I let people see. Like, listen, this yeah. girl is a businesswoman, intelligent, etc. She can turn up. She's beautiful, right? And this is what you deserve. I respect I mean, that because yeah. it's like <laughs> I, I feel like I like hanging around women. Yeah. Like, most of my friends in college were women, you and came, it's like you came with me to Moxie. Huh? Yeah, yeah, and it's like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I see the type of girls yeah. at Mox is very beautiful and very, you know what, very nice, Absolutely. respectful. Like they, even when I came there, I, I went back to Moxie's the next day. Yeah, yeah, I remember you told. Me. Yeah, because like, I got to get those steak bites, so I got <laughs> where I had them today. What the hell was Moxie's? Yeah, ha, it's in uh, Uptown. Oh no, yeah, which one's, Uptown. Which one's, which one's yeah, the restaurant? Ain't it? Yeah, it's a restaurant yeah. Uptown. Okay. Got, we no, got which one? Which one is the one near Galleria? Which one is that one? I don't know. No, that's um, oh man, um, that's the dang, that's one like Cheesecake Factory or something. Yeah, what what is it called? It'll uh, come to me, keep talking. All right, yeah. anyway. But anyway, so <laughs> I was there, and I was like, I saw Grand two Lux. of the same waitresses that were there, and they recognized me respectfully. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yep. I, you know, gave him a shoulder, yep. you know, dap and all that. I was you, like, you know why, right? You got some nice, like, people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I was like, I like being around women like that. And I yeah. see. You don't realize even why when I, yet. You said what? You don't realize why yet. <laughs> Hold on. Bro, you got finesse, man. Nah, you got nah, finesse. nah, nah. You but, got finesse. But what I like <laughs> is, like, uh, do you feel like you like hanging around? Because- when you're out, I don't see you bringing a lot of your male friends, which is always like women. Do you just like nope. that? that if I'm feminine around dudes, energy? it's because I call my boys here. That's it. Uh, yeah, nah, I don't. I don't bring dudes, man. Yeah. Nah. It's, nope. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, if it ain't the brothers, that's it's, it's kind of gay. So, yeah, so. I, I just, no, I mean, you're like it's like you know how we roll deep. Like usually, like you know, yeah, we have like bro- girls and guys. Yeah, it's like you just brothers with, I can work with. Yeah. There's even brothers I can kick it with at the restaurant. Mm-hmm. But you got to know the brothers that you want to hang around, you know, when you're trying to just, you know, get your little vibe on, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, no, I keep all of them separate, bro. And so- I got one, also, I got one last question. I feel like you're the you're very professional. I see you like a, as a guy on this magazine right here. 
and you're sitting right in front of us. We party with you. We have a good time with you. You see him as bald? No, no. Just, you, know, you know what I mean, CEO. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, I graced it before. Yeah, but are 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 a lot of your peers like that too? Because I feel like when when you go out, it's just like kind of like you stand out. Yeah, man. Lot. You know what? Though, real talk. Uh, I, I ain't trying to drop names, but I mean, my mentor is the richest black. Person in America, so Oprah? I mean, I think you know that Oprah, Oprah, uh, God, uh, no, no. Robert Robert Smith, man, yeah, yeah, uh, Vista oh. Equity, five billion deep. I mean, you, you guys know I run a nonprofit as well, and he he's the number one funder. So, yeah. like, listen, the two richest black men in America are mentors and funders of my program. So man, I'm amazing. around guys who are over five billion dollars, man. But you could never tell if you met them, man. I mean, they they say the same thing. Like Rob, the only thing they say to me is they ain't gonna give me no money. They would tell you, don't even ask for no money. But their biggest thing is, whatever you do, man, own it. Like, intellectual property, et cetera, and then do it with <laughs> humility. And then more importantly, bro, um, pay it forward. If you see young mm-hmm. brothers out there who got talents, but maybe they just need a little focus, help them. So yeah. that's really, that's really, um, you know, that's really what it's all about, man. But that's it's deep. about humility, bro. Because <laughs> the truth is, if you if you um, got it, and more importantly, you understand the grace of God, bro, why are you, why you, why you flooding it? So, but Thanks. if you got to get attention for what you do, bro, you ain't really got it like that. So, mm-hmm. uh, most rich people, if you if you see them, man, you wouldn't even. I mean, you see some of their cars is dope, but yeah, but the most but part, you, you won't even know, know they're they rich, rich, bro. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm from Chicago. I couldn't help it, man. I, I couldn't wait to get that. Um, <laughs> bro, I can't. So, I can't begin to tell you how know. many people I came across when I was working at the exotic car place. Yeah, they're just you would look like know. average people. Yeah, you never but, know. But then when it comes down to it, they. Drop a two hundred and forty two thousand dollars check on them. Absolutely, I'm they, like, they're not financing either. No, they like, yeah. nah, I'm not gonna finance. Yeah. I'm just trying to get this, yeah, this, <laughs> this Lamborghini for my sixteen year old son. So, I'm sorry, what? Are it's you a adopted? lot of money out here in Dallas? So, like, I mean, man, it's like, what, what do you think about young entrepreneurs coming into the game? Like, if I was like, because you know, on the internet you see it all the time, Gary V, all these guys are yeah. d- d- coaching these kids, saying, oh, you can make a million dollars, you can do all this and all that. What what advice would you give to like a young entrepreneur coming into the game that wants to work for himself, that wants to do his own thing? Like, what would you say to him to get kind of get him in the right direction? You know what I would say: the first thing that drives me crazy is people who write business plans. Like oh. that's that's the nineteen eighties, bro. Like um, you know all this. Oh, I got a target market, all of that, bro. If you if you got a good business, just start your business, bro. I mean, if you're trying to get venture capitalist funding. Write a business plan. But if you're just trying to start your own thing, build it up. Mm-hmm. So my advice, first of all, just go do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but the most important thing I would probably say is you cannot um, you cannot underestimate or unappreciate the small start beginnings, bro. Mm-hmm. Like that that's the most important thing. Everybody want to start a business and they want to be you know Facebook CEO money. You know the next day you just gotta you just gotta grind. Yeah. When I started my IT company for for real, that room was probably about the size of this, and I got two fold out card tables. I went and bought a Three three dollar um, tablecloth for it, and then I had four chairs just like this across two tables, so I could I could fit eight people in that room. They <laughs> they charged me five hundred dollars for that table. I mean for that whole room, mm. and literally I put an ad in the paper that says I do IT training, get certified by a certified Microsoft engineer for only three thousand dollars. And then bro, I forgot I went out of town, forgot I put the ad in the paper. I got back, answer machine was like full, 65. I'm talking about when it was answer wow. machine, I'm dating myself again. Boy. Bro, I checked, the, I checked the answer machine, bro, and I had 65 calls. Everybody like, I got 3,000, I got 3,000. I was like, whoa. So I ended up with eight rooms. I had I had sold out my classes for the next six months. So when I started my business, bro, it was it, my business actually started the day after 9-11, 2001, because mm. oh, I got man. laid off. I got laid off that day, and I was like, oh, man, I got to do something. Started my business two thousand two um, um September thirteenth two thousand and so from September to December we did three hundred thousand dollars. I just you just got to start, bro. Yeah, and don't be afraid to fail. And that's the other thing. This, the young <clears throat> people today they get trophies for just participating, so they don't know how to Thank fail. Thank you. They don't know how to fail, or Man. they want to shoot up the school, bro. Because, Tell these DJs that, bro. They be yeah. looking at so, me like they're like, "Yo, DJ can't." When I when I'm DJing, I do like I do big Indian weddings, yeah. I do African weddings, and they pay like you know some Absolutely. five to ten grand a night, and I'm just playing for three hours. Absolutely. But it's like people see that and they're like, "Oh, how can I get to the money? How can I?" How much do I make DJ? Nobody really asked me. How can I get good at scratching? Absolutely. How can I up my fader game? How can I get better mixing? They always want right. to. How, what, how build much you get my paid? Clientele, bro. Like, like they just want you to put them on. Yeah. That's one thing I don't do. I don't <clears throat> listen. I can like you, bro, but you're not gonna come and say, "Hey, um, put me on." Now, I'll I'll show you the direction. Yeah. But you're gonna have to you're gonna have to earn it, bro. And my son, same thing. My my son got his own car. Mm. I don't I don't use my credit. I don't pay for people. 
Like you gotta you gotta learn how to do that, and you'll appreciate it more. Yeah. Like, so what I will do is point you in the right direction. So like even respect. with me with my photography, like <clears throat> when because for those of you guys who know, I started photography in, in a different fashion. Yeah. For those of my real friends, y'all remember the name Lone Wolf Images, but um, but no, like it, it when it all started with me, it was just uh, sacrificing a lot of free shoots. Mm-hmm. You know, I a, a lot of these people, I really didn't, I, I really didn't want to, have to sacrifice it, but. Um, you just had to, you know, and then I had to get to a point of just showing up with my camera and just shooting. Like that's how I started doing, um, hosting those car shows. Uh, what was it? Two, a summer, two summers ago, I was hosting car shows. Okay. And then COVID hit heavy and then they shut all that shit now. Mm. But, uh, it, it started with just me showing up, taking pictures of, you know, supercars and everything. Okay. And then just got connected with the right people. Met a dude who has Dak Prescott's signature on his uh, Lamborghini. Yeah, SVJ. Mm-hmm. What's it? Yeah, it was the SVJ. A mental or SVJ. Man. And that, that, my thing is, I was like, that's like the biggest flex when you get pulled over by a cop. <laughs> like, yo, did Dak Prescott sign your shit? All right, no, no all right. But <laughs> you know, from then, I, I had to get to a point of just like not sacrificing any free shoots anymore. And one thing that a lot of people got to realize is that if you have your business, do not, don't sacrifice your price. Real talk. If that's your price, that's your price. If your friends can't fuck with it, bye. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you I, know. Like, I totally agree. <clears throat> and and like, that's the other thing, too. We we um, devalue ourselves. And, like, and the truth is, that $3,000 that I'm talking about, yeah. I didn't know any better. And I made money. 300000 by the end of the year. But the truth is, all the competitors were doing that for like 6000 But I, I didn't think I was on that level. I had this little card table. So I was like, oh, I don't have this big, nice office building like this. Um, and bro, I raised my race to 5,000 and nobody ever pushed back. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep raising it until somebody pushed back. Mm-hmm. We end up getting to like 7,000. We took out $7,000 for one week of training for a boot camp. And you're right. teaching IT I'm like teaching Microsoft, IT. Yep, Excel, Microsoft SQL. Cisco. Yep, SQL. Yep. Cause yeah. I mean, my thing, my thing is, it's like you're not finna, like no one's gonna go to Express and look at the price of their shirts and be like, hell no, nah, y'all need to charge me cheaper. Like no one's gonna look at a yeah. Michael Kors backpack and be like, well, they'll come to you, local. Why is it so high? Right. You know what I mean? Why it's like, so come on, those are your friends too. And, and, I mean, my thing is this, all right? right, I'm I'll come across as cocky. All right. All right, love y'all. Very nice meeting y'all. Absolutely. So I, I come across as cocky, you know what I mean? But mm. the way I see it is I think my shit's dope, mm. period. And if you want my my dope-ass artwork with your face on it, mm-hmm. yeah. pay for it. Right. You Facts. Because like them same people who did complain to me about my photo shoot pricing – Started having their own shit and was like, hey, I got this website with this. Buy this shirt. It's $25 for sure. I'm like, shit, I only pay 14 so what's up? Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-uh, you, you going to have to pay full price. I'm like, well, shit, you you wanted a, a discount. Yeah, but you just got to be ready, though. Um, it's, I, I'm with you. I wouldn't compromise on my on my price because that's my value. But you do got to be ready to sell it and tell them what, what they're getting for that money. So, Mm-hmm. I mean, right. so and, and you can charge me $25 and then, you know, strings coming out your bag. So, so yeah. let me ask you this. Uh Starting a business, starting music, starting photography, starting yeah. whatever technology, a company, or whatever the case is. Do you think the saying is true that you have to know somebody that knows that know somebody? You know what, bro? You know, I used to, you know I had a record label, right? For mm-hmm. me, I, yeah, I remember to, you telling yeah, me. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to rap, so uh, I started my own label because I I mean it's Dallas. I'm like shit. I don't know nobody. I don't even think we can get on like that. At the time, you know, St. Louis was hot. I knew a couple of friends who knew like Murphy Lee, but for the most part, bro. Those niggas didn't want to talk to nobody. So it's like, you know, it's a club. So I started my own thing. And then I um, met it. I was like, okay, I don't know nothing about making beats. So I found this dude at a um, Houston named J-Law. Man, had dope beats. And he was like, I'll sell them to you, 500 a beat. He was expensive, bro, but I bought them. <laughs> I, bought, I bought like 16 of them, went to the studio, rented out some time, dropped the whole album over the weekend, saved up for it, et cetera. Then I actually um, reached out to a couple of um, labels Nothing. And then finally, bro, I, I, I literally kept emailing and calling people, going to labels. Ended up going to, um, at the time, um, 97.9, the beat here. Mm-hmm. They was inside the um, that, that mall off of Spring Valley. Yep. I think it was called Valley View Mall. Valley. Okay. Yeah. They, was, they was inside at the time. Ricky Smiley had just came. I went in there and was like, hey, I'm interested in um, running some commercials to promote my album. Now I ain't had no money to do nothing. I just, but I told them that. But by going in there and they showed me around thinking they got this customer, I started meeting DJs, bro. Um, and uh, end up Shots having to meet Ricky Smile, all of that. And then um, I um, end up reaching somebody at Sony Music, and he's like, send me what you got. I put a package together. They liked it. Introduced me to DJ Quick. So my point is, <laughs> I you just you just if you you just got to get out there and grind, bro. Knock on doors. 
but you got to have a vision. You got to package your stuff. People don't want to put the work in. So I don't, so to answer your question, I don't think you got to know people that makes it easier mm-hmm. by all means networking and doing that. But it, listen, I, I actually, because of that wrote a song, it basically said, um, since y'all, since y'all uh, won't let me in, I'm just breaking down the dough. Mm-hmm. So that's what you got to do. If they won't let you in, you got to break down the dough. That's facts. So we are coming to our final minutes of the show. I, I got usually, one last. I'll oh, go oh, ahead. Oh, okay, go ahead. Oh, go we ahead. got we got about five minutes. So I got a question. Uh, do you think what? what okay, this this is just it might sound kind of vague. What is the definition of making it? Hmm. I hear that so many times. That's a, that's Music, a very good business. question. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying. What is the definition of making it? You know what? That's a good question, bro. And and people who uh, make a little money. I'm, I'm blessed. I made a little money. Yeah. That, we, that Look, changes. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> that, 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 that's hard work, man. But it changes. It changes because if you would ask me that when I was on my grind, it was making money, getting mm-hmm. to the status of where I'm at now. But the truth is, when you can wake up, man, mm-hmm. and whatever creative thought you have of uh, that you want to be able to give birth to, mm-hmm. if you have the ability to go do it. And, and see that come to fruition, mm-hmm. that's that's making it, bro. Yeah, it's right. not so. There's people who literally have way less money than me, but they made it more than me because they're doing what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Again, I don't really care about you following no dream or passion, but I do think that for me, I say success is being able to do all the things that God has given you to to do. If you can create the stuff that you've been given to create, you're successful. Mm-hmm. Whether that be family, finance, you know, friends, relationships. You know, whatever it is. So for yeah. me, making it is when you say, "Man, I'm actually doing what I'm good at and what I like to do, and right, I'm using like my creativity." Do. Right. And then so, the money comes, bro. The money will come with that because yeah. a lot of times the stuff that you know you guys do easy, y'all, y'all just don't see the value of it. I mean, you do, but you know what I mean. Oh, in general, mm-hmm. people think they got to go come invent something. But what you really should do is say, "What is natural for me that I love?" Man, if you like writing, drawing, yeah, you know, taking pictures and all that, if that's natural for you, because that's definitely not something I got a skill to do. Which means I'm willing to pay you to do it because I don't have that skill. Yeah. So so um, monetize that. That's mm. what we got to do, bro. What I've heard so, a good saying is like, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Just absolutely. put rims on it. Just put rims on it, bro. And the rims <laughs> you already got. That's being yourself, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you. Uh, I know. I know a lady who simply tried to get her kids to drink more water than they wouldn't. So she squeezed a little orange juice in it, and then she squeezed a little grape juice in it to get them to drink it, and then she started bottling her, bottling it and selling it to a church, and then um, she um, Albertson picked it up. Mm. And then Kroger picked it up, and now she's a multi-millionaire squeezing juice in a bottle, bro. What, wow. what brand is this? Um, you know what? It got bought out. It got bought out by um, not the vitamin water. What's the other one? The one you squeeze the. Is it the dragon? It's the one where you squeeze the. It's uh, like a little drop. Soapy of water. water. Soapy. Soapy. Yeah. It's exactly. Soapy so, water. Yeah. yeah. So they bought her. They bought her out. They bought her out, bro. That's hard. So, so yeah, it's just a crazy? simple thing of just trying to. She just <clears> trying to solve a problem for her kids and realize, man. I can get um, how about how about getting another million kids to do drink their water? So yeah. so yeah, so we at the end of the show. You know, overall, you guys know the do's and the don'ts for going out. You guys got to listen to the words and wisdoms from Pastor. Uh, Rob. Uh, hey, one, we one gotta time, do it one, one more time for Rob. Let's do it one time, one more time for Rob. Give, come on, come on, let's go. Hit him one time, uh, 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 bitch. Uh, bitch. Uh. What's his favorite word? Bitch. Hey, that's how so, I in the club, man. But overall, though, that was Rob, a good, we do, good episode. It was, it was a great episode. Awesome. Oh my god! Honestly, like I'm gonna be real with you. I'm a, like I'm not being biased because you're here. <laughs> But this is probably like the my favorite episode that we've done so far. This yeah. this has to be like I wish I wore a better outfit. But uh, <laughs> Rob, we do straight, appreciate bro. you taking time yeah, out of your day anytime, man, for my to, brothers, man. to no, come out here, come chat with us, come you know. Give us some game and everything, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so inspired. You know, Kane uh, gave me a two day, a, two, a 24 hour notice, man. Yeah. I was like, you know what? That's for my brothers. I'm in. So, already. Yeah, so yeah, let me up. ask you this. Let me ask you this. Uh, you know, we got about a couple more minutes left before we finish up. What future endeavors you got going on that you want to share? Yeah, with you us? know what, man? I, I've been up since eight o'clock because I got one go. I was just meeting with these investors. I want to, I'm starting my own venture capital company. So for me, I want to build a fund that is a hopefully multi million dollar fund. So I've met with some investors. There's a lot of minority-owned businesses, and especially black women. The research shows that black women who get loans and investments return 90% more profits than they, they, that they, than they borrow. But they only get less than 2% of all the venture capital work out there. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, man, I'm, I want to get into venture capital, um, angel investing, and just buy pieces of companies. You know, So uh, while I'm making my little money, I don't need a big piece of pie. I just need a little piece of a lot of pies. Mm-hmm. But if I can also invest in startup companies – um, and people who doing it, then that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm really that's really my next venture, bro. 
That's man, really good. That's, that's, that's some that's, that's some real that's some great real, plan, bro. That's some real great, powerful great stuff plan. right yeah. here, man. But you know, it's about that time. We definitely gotta have you on a future episode. Man, anytime, we, no, man, anytime. we definitely gonna have to have you on I'm a future I'm episode. I might spit something for y'all next time. You know? Oh yeah, we're gonna drop oh, it. We're gonna be ready. That's the piece. Next time, ready, goddamn. Yeah. So I want y'all to you know stay tuned. I think next episode I'm going to come up with another contest for y'all. Uh-oh. Just don't tell my dad because his ass be cheating. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. That nigga lying. TJ be giving him now. <laughs> boy, boy, please. <laughs> I do want to take the time to shout out my parents for coming by. That's our first people to come watch the audience live. That's shout out to our producer, Mr. Jick, 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 John the Don right there. Right behind that big ass Samsung computer. Yeah. I Samsung, see. baby. And <laughs> shout out to our special guest in the building. Shout out to our special Rizzo. guest. Y'all, we out. Autobots, it's about that time. Nitty Gritty Podcast. Podcast. Wait, Nitty one time gritty, for the baby. audience. One time for the audience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, roll gritty. out. We out. We out. Back in them uncomfortable places, we only hustle for greatness. Franklin and Ulysses' faces, I'm taking it to new places. Call this divine immigration, more like divine intervention. You like the vibe, but can't chase it, I know.